just a quick uh, assembly of a WASR-10-63 with all Tapco parts, Tapco stock, 6 position. Got the black galil four ends made by Tapco. So you can see it. Tapco trigger. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Bolt. It's also Tapco. And I got this gun for right at four hundred dollars. And it's never jammed or anything, but anyways, it's going to get along with the assembly. First thing we're going to want to do, take the gas piston, insert it carefully into the gun. If we get the gas piston to the gun, press down, and get both sides of the bolt carrier to the low, low, lower receiver. All the way forward, just like so. Just like that. Slide it into the back. Slide it onto the gun. Next thing we're going to want to do is insert the return screen. Nope, got a hole on it. Just clean it, but you don't want it. Want to insert. Spring, like so. Sorry, it's right to the back of the lower receiver. This gun's really easy to assemble and disassemble. It really takes no skill to assemble this weapon or clean it. It's a very, very high quality yet durable weapon. Like I said, never any jams on me. The easy way to get the receiver cover on is just kind of tap it up and down with some rubber lines hammer or something otherwise this thing's a bit of a pain to actually get on the gun. Just like so. So get that in place. Otherwise, the spring is very hard to get the gas stove. Only really only the hard part of the gun. Once the spring is in the gun. That's not nice and good. It won't hurt it. Trust me. These guns are very, very durable. Almost indestructible. Now it's fully assembled. Next thing we do. Let's the magazine. Fully assembled. Wasser 10.